Okay, we'll begin our tour. This is the front of the home. I'm just going to pan around so you can kind of see uh, what's around you here. We've got neighbors on both sides. It's a very big open area here. As you can see, there's really nothing across the street. And then over on this side, you've got another set of neighbors over there. And again, this is the front of the house. And now we'll just approach the house. There's a big uh, screened door, which I've opened already on the front. This is like a uh, just sort of a shaded front patio area. And a really big, beautiful front door. And leads to the interior of the home. Hopefully it's bright enough in here for you. This is a large living room that uh, is directly in front of you. We'll go to the right. Uh, also there's a kind of a hall closet here right next to the front door. Again, just sort of for coats and whatnot. Turn to the right and this is where the master bedroom is. It's very big, it's kind of hard to get scale on this nice ceiling fan in here. It's nice and bright. Master bathroom. We've got the toilet area, has a door. Then this is a, like a walk-in tub where you, uh, you just step into it. It has like jacuzzi jets, um, sort of a, like a therapeutic kind of a jacuzzi tub set up, but you just simply step in and then close that door. The shower itself is right here. It's sort of a walk-in shower. We just sort of step in. Again, it's going to be hard to tell really on a video like this, but you just kind of go in, <laughs> you go in and you go around the corner there. So it's like that. This is a master, uh, it's a big master closet. I, hopefully this comes out in the video. I couldn't find the light. The lights didn't seem to work. So it may be too dark. I can't, can't tell, but keep moving. So out of the master, back into the main living area. Here's uh, the dining room, nice and roomy. This has a sort of a high bar here, the kitchen. They set up, big uh, sort of dining area, little dining light. And then this is the kitchen. I'll kind of step over here so you can get a good view of the kitchen. Uh, this is like a laminate, it's not granite. It kind of looks like granite, but it's not. Then you've got more counters on this side. So a lot of counter space in here. You've got white appliances, electric range, microwave, refrigerator. And then from there you have a walk-in pantry. And then directly out of the kitchen, you've got the guest bedrooms or the just the other secondary bedrooms. Look like nine foot ceilings in here. Again, nice ceiling fan. This faces the front of the property. And this has a nice walk-in closet. Wow, it actually kind of goes around the corner there. And then from here, you get a guest bath. This is a half bath. Just the toilet and the uh, pedestal sink and then some linen from here, continue on, we will go to the, the left, you've got more closet space, and then this is your laundry room, utility room, has a nice sink, more cabinets, an area to hang your clothes, I guess after you wash and dry them, and then another kind of walk-in pantry, which is nice. From here is the entrance to the garage. Nice big three-car garage. You've got a door to the backyard there. And this is your three-car garage area. It has a fan in here, which is nice. So that thing there, you can get a look at that. Oh, and it's got another extra little pop-out area here with a water softener and your water heater. But that fan will pull the heat out of here in the summer. That's what that's for. That's really nice, actually. Keep the garage comfortable. 
All right, back through the house. We go. Okay, so from here, we go back into the hallway, back down the hallway. You've got another bedroom and also another walk-in closet. That's nice. So you can see that. Out of this room, you've got now a full bath, two sinks, toilet, shower, tub. It's nice. Everything's very clean. And then you have a third bedroom here. Again, nice tall ceilings. Another ceiling fan in here. And this one just has a regular slider type closet, not the walk-in type here. All the bedrooms are very good size. As bedrooms go. And now back through the house here, we'll head to the backyard. So you can get a look at that. And this door has a nice screen on it. So if you wanted to leave the, just get a breeze going through the home, you could close both screen doors, the one on the front door and the one on this back door and you get a nice breeze through here. From here they have a, a nice big covered patio. It looks like they've built some sort of shades here, which will keep the sun from hitting the house directly. As you can see, it goes all the way down there. But we'll, we'll look at this side of the yard first. So you're walking over here. You've got a couple sets of gates. Again, you're, the house appears to be set pretty much in the center of the lot. So you've got a very good sized front yard and an equally good sized backyard. Very flat, it's all usable. Got a double gate here, single gate there. And as we pan around, it looked like they had, I don't know what they had parked here. These are not stables, but looks like maybe they worked on cars here possibly. It's a wooden structure and with a corrugated metal roof, still in very good condition. And this here is like a sunken bay. So maybe they had a motor home in here. That's possible too. Looks like they've got, oh, they have a well here, their own well. So that's what that is. That's the pump for the well. So you have your own private water source here. We can get you all the details on that. That looks like it's in really good shape, actually. Maybe fairly new. The yard is fully fenced all the way around. And as you can see, very nice and flat, very usable space here. So you get a good look of the back side of the house. Roof looks like it's in really good condition. So probably no worries there. Okay, we're now heading toward the other corner. This is, they say entrance on this gate over here, so I'm guessing this is probably where they came in with their, uh, with their car and just parked back here. You can see another wooden structure. This is like a carport with three spaces and then a smaller space on the end there. You could park, you know, quad or dirt bikes or something, I guess. So that would be an addition to your garage if you wanted to park something back here. They are digging something, so it looks like they're still in the process of maybe doing something. I don't know what that would be, a water line possibly. AC is right there, it looks pretty new. Looks like it's in very good condition. And then you have this gate here that you could drive through. You know, and come into the property this way. And just park and back, I guess, if you wanted. So that's pretty much it. Um, well, let me show you the garage door, the garage area. I'm parked over here. It's my vehicle. And this is where you would access the uh, garage your entrance to your yard is right there through that area there